Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your who uh, your love reading for who is coming towards you. So, what's going to be your next relationship here? And we're going to be examining uh, um, some questions. I also posted the questions below in the description box so you guys can follow along. The questions we're going to go over today is what is this person going to be like? How will they affect you? Obstacles in your way of this connection. How will they see you? And what is the potential of this romantic connection? So I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. But I am offering a free personal reading to more or less. All the information will be at the end of this video. So stick with me till the end. Okay, so let's jump right in here. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's jump right in here and let's pull this deck. And also, I want to make sure that I ask the question about your love interest. I want to make sure that this connection is going to be a connection that you're interested in. You know, not just a connection that is going to come towards you that you're not going to be interested in, but a connection that, you know, you're going to be attracted to that person. That person is going to be attracted to you. So let's ask about that connection. Okay, so Libra, can I have uh, information spirit on... Uh, an incoming connection for Libra for someone that they are attracted to and someone that that is attracted to them let me have some information about that connection for the next couple months show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see okay and you guys can check your moon your rising and your sun sign for more information your sun sign represents your soul your moon sign represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. And what I'm doing right now is I'm getting all the cards in place that I need to get the information that I need. So I'm doing multiple rounds here, okay? So just to let you know what I'm doing. I'm on my third round now. That's about to be on my fourth. Okay. Because I'm going through each of the questions. I'm keeping the other cards off camera only because of the fact until we get to that particular question. Otherwise, it'll come become confusing on the camera. I've noticed that the cards seem to shift around a lot and stuff like that. So first question that we're going to examine here, Libra, is what is this person going to be like? Well, they have a sense of justice. Uh, they may be very work focused. They like to go out and celebrate. They are definitely um, a money focus there, a family focus there with that 10 of pentacles energy. This person is very considerate. You guys definitely uh, enjoy spending time together. Uh, this person also may be a friend also with the three of cups energy coming out. Um, and they could be another Libra too with that Libra card coming out. Okay, so this person is very joyful. Uh, they're very considerate. They do like to look at details. Okay, they examine details um, and they're not afraid to put the work or effort into whatever they do. Uh, they may also be, for some of you, be in, be in work or school, well, in work. They may be very work focused. Uh, really focused on their money or they may be in school or going to school educating themselves uh, Ten of Pentacles tells me that either there's a money focus here or they're well off Ten of Pentacles energy or there is something to do with family long-term commitment so going through this Libra it looks to me like there's a sense of a decision justice represents a decision so they make just decisions they have a sense of justice about them and uh there it's to do with family and long-term commitment and the sense of friendships and celebrations and hanging out and also they know how to pay attention to detail and put the work or effort into whatever they're doing they pay attention to those details and they're very meticulous with it uh i feel like they don't really like to go outside that much for some of you uh but when they do go out, they have a good time, okay? Uh, so I feel like there's a lot of time that they spend inside. Maybe they also, for some of you, may work from home, okay? Uh, or um, they spend a lot of time at the office, too, um, with that uh, Eight of Pentacles. I, that's what I feel like from that card. Okay, so there's decisions about completion and a joy, a sense of joy, sense of celebration, and putting the work or effort into their situation. Okay, so going further on this Libra. Okay, how will they affect you? Okay, okay. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting these kind of cards. Okay. So this person will make you have a sense that you're being left out in the cold, a sense of loss around this connection because of the fact that this person's like juggling a lot of things with the two of pentacles energy. It's like almost like you have to fight for their attention. And, uh, yes, there's a strong attachment, a strong desires around this connection. Um, you definitely, um, feel like there is strong chemistry between you and them to a point sometimes where it may feel a little bit unhealthy um, or there may be a lot of procrastination on their part which is making you feel like you're having a sense of loss of being left out of the cold because obviously this person seems to multitask a lot or there's something to do with this choice that has to be made and seven of wands it's like you have to defend this position to other people about it um, so that's very interesting. Five is change your challenges when it comes to a choice. A lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating about strong desires, strong attachments. Okay. Going further on this. Um, next question. Obstacles in your way of this connection. Okay. So obstacles in the way. Oh, well, obviously we see that there is challenges here. Uh, there's some obstacles uh, because somebody's lacking um, the sense of action. Uh, Knight of Swords says that there's a lack of action there. And um, also it's like, is this the ideal situation? Because there seems to be a lot of looking around, analyzing, investing time in this. Um, it does seem like um, it's a long road. Um, and the, the fact that it's not a clear def definitive like i see the light in the tunnel kind of energy and it may be because there's some abruptness about it and um also the magician card energy is like is this really my ideal situation does this person have everything they need it seems like there's a, like a lot of waiting around it's like this person's going like this like hmm what's gonna happen with this i mean it's like i've invested this time what's gonna happen with this can I get past these challenges, these obstacles with this person? You know what? I, I, I feel like there can be some abrupt, harsh energy sometimes with this person. And I don't know if they're, they're, you know, this is the right timing, you know, or this is the right kind of situation for me. That kind of energy is going on there. So six, healing, recovery, and love because of actions or lack of actions around this is an ideal situation or having everything you need. There may also be the sense of, all right, this person may be a little bit of manipulation going on, um, or there's some manipulation, or you may feel like there's some trickery or manipulation going on that may be part of the, the issue. And, and this kind of like long patient energy about, all right, what's going on here with this? When is this gonna grow fruit? All right, so that's the obstacle. So let's see, how do they see you? Okay, I see. So they see you, they're a bit confused by you, or you're a bit of a mystery to them. Uh, they have a sense that you're very hidden uh, that they don't know all the answers and they are looking to the past for those answers or there's a lot of regrets within this person ending something. So for some of you, you may have dealt with this person before because of the fact that I see the death card, I see the five of cups energy um, because this person seems to be like regretting their decision here to end something or to uh, to change something around this. They, Because they're confused about this air of mystery about you. They feel like you have a veil in front of you. Like they're, they're not seeing everything, that you're very mysterious. And um, they do have a sense of loss when it comes to this sense of opportunity. And they keep focusing on that. And then the death card tells me that they are, are really with like Scorpio energy because the death card is Scorpio energy. They're really uh, analyzing and going deep about this and trying to figure it out. Uh, I feel like this person also sees that there's kind of like a dreamy energy about you as well. Like they may have seen you in a dream or may have connected with you in a dream also because the moon and the high priestess together. Uh, obviously the moon energy is part of like the astral realm. So yeah, I feel like this person feels like a sense of loss, a, a sense of regret here um, because of the fact that they, they're just trying to understand you. They, they have a lack of understanding about you and they feel like you're very mysterious to them. And um, this person is like, 
feeling like they want some kind of change or maybe you guys are still in some kind of relationship because they're like, I want this, I want Libra to end something so I can start anew with them so I can have a new beginning here or I want some kind of new beginning around this. Okay, going further, let's see what the outcome of this, con potential outcome of this connection is. Okay, so we see that there's going to be clarity, Ace of Swords energy. There's going to be clarity, which will be a victory, but on the same token, still someone's not telling the truth or they're hiding some thoughts here about the situation. We see there'll be a reconciliation, a healing with this connection, but still it's going to be a little bit, um, uh, a new way and a new perspective, uh, new ideas, new perspectives. Um, possibly uh, a sense of naivete around this uh, reconciliation this healing and it's because of the fact that um, also the page of swords can show a little bit of immaturity too as well so there is some clarity gained here there's a victory around that but still someone's not telling the truth about a reconciliation or this deceptions about reconciliation which is causing this naivete or this sense of um, uh, new perspectives and maturity advice around that we have some advice we have some advice okay so four of cups can talk about um, look at this opportunity right don't feel indifferent about it or don't miss an opportunity or focus on stability and stableness with the four card energy all right my beautiful Libras I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Plus also guys, you, could, you can cross watch for more information to get more information about this connection. Um, so you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. Um, as far as the free personal readings go, I'm gonna be picking two people for a free personal reading in the month of August. All you have to do is put love in the comments below. And um, don't worry if you don't see your comment right away, it will be up, don't worry. I'm filtering right now all the spam and stuff. So um, that's why you don't see your comment right away. I love you guys so much. Uh, the next reading coming out for you guys is urgent message from your spirit guides. And then uh, I feel like maybe uh, pick a card and then I'll probably pick from the uh, list of the uh, of voting thing that I did on my community tab and pick the next reading. That's the next one up from this one. And that'll be the next one after that. I love you guys so much. And I also just started a TikTok. So if you guys want to follow me over there, I look forward to seeing you guys. I love you guys so much and have a great, try to have a great rest of your next couple months. And I will see you guys another day or two.